Hello, my name is Henry and I'm from CCTV42. In this video we're going to look at accessing your HD hybrid DVR recorder using a mobile device. We're going to use an iPad and we're going to see uh, what happens there. So, the first thing you need to do on the iPad is you need to download an app. It's a free app. It's called Super Live HD and we've downloaded that there. And we're going to uh, load a new DVR recorder into the app. So, we need to select the address and we're going to, where it says server list, we're going to add a DVR recorder. So give the DVR recorder a name, we're going to call this one local DVR. And we need to give it an address, which is the, uh, in this case it's our internal IP address. So it's on the same network that the iPad's on. So uh, the internal IP address is 192.168.1.1. In this case, dot 65. Now when we ship out the DVRs, uh, we ship them out in what's called DHCP mode, which means that when you attach it to a router, it will automatically accept an internal IP address from the uh, router. And you can go onto the network settings uh, in the menu on the DVR recorder and you can see what your local IP address is. So it says here account, that wants to uh, see username, so the default username is admin. And the password again, default uh, password for the DVR recorder is 123456. So we will save that. And then we'll select local DVR and we'll log into it. And there we go, we can see one of the uh, camera views which is on screen. A uh, couple of things uh, with our uh, mobile apps you have a master stream and a substream. So uh, if you click this little icon down here, you can see this is quality priority, so this is on the master stream. If we slide that across there, just move the iPad a little bit there. Uh, we've now gone to what's called bitrate priority, that's a substream. So if you had a less good internet connection, if you use the uh, bitrate priority, that will uh, save your internet uh, bandwidth. It means it'll work better with a lower bandwidth. Uh, we've got some options on the bottom as to how to display uh, cameras, so we're going to go for a nine camera display. You can see you can choose which cameras you want to uh, select. We're going to take uh, those nine cameras there. And as I say, at the moment, this is in the substream. If we uh, ask that to go onto the uh, master stream, so we'll go uh, tick, uh, let's say, this camera here, and we'll ask that to go onto quality priority. So that's now gone on to the master stream, so that's a much better quality image. And if we want to, we can go full screen, and that shows us uh, the correct aspect ratio for uh, the uh, 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Double click again, and that takes us on to all nine cameras. And then a single click, and that will show us the menu across the bottom of the screen there again. So again, if we click on that icon, that'll show us uh, just the, uh, the camera views themselves. A couple of options. We can if we want to. Uh, that's warning me, it's saying because I'm asking for uh, more cameras, the, if I had a less good internet uh, connection, you may find that the uh, performance slows down, but we've got a fairly good internet connection here, so we're going to accept that. So we're going to go full screen on that. Now, one of the things we can do, just as when you're using the mouse with the DVR recorder, we can uh, drag and drop. So if we click on that, we drop that into there, we can change the uh, where the cameras are displayed on screen. Uh, so uh, we can have that uh, set up however we want it to. If we click on that again, um, we'll go back to our nine camera display. Uh, now a couple of other things you can do. You can search for previously recorded footage. So if we go on to playback, uh, options on the bottom here, we're going to look for event search. So uh, we set up motion trigger recording on one of the cameras and uh, I'll actually show you how you can do that on the uh, iPad as well. So we're going to look for just one of the cameras. We're going to just look for camera 8 in this instance. And we'll click uh, search just on there. And this shows a list of events that have taken place. And so you can see some of these are motion triggered events here. And so we're going to take uh, one of the uh, one events which happened earlier this morning. Uh, we'll go for this one, I think it is, 8.16. So that's a vehicle which is leaving, uh, you can see it driving out, it's detected motion, motion 
and so it stored that as an event. So you can either search by time or by event uh, using your iPad. And that's uh, that's one of our B8 series cameras there, so that's uh, about 60, 70 metres away as it uh, drives out of the gates, a nice clear view there. So we're going to go back, uh, close that, go back to the uh, uh, live camera view. Uh, you can make some settings changes on the uh, DVR recorder. So if we go to settings, uh, I did mention uh, you can set up motion triggered recording. So if we go onto the alarm, and you can see the cameras listed here, and we're going to look at the area. So this is the camera which we've just seen uh, with its motion triggered patch on there. Very, very easy to add and remove uh, motion trigger areas. If you just tap anywhere on the screen, if there is no uh, motion triggered area, it will put one on. If you tap it again, it will remove it. So if you touch and drag, uh, you can put an area in very easily. And as I say, if you touch somewhere which already has motion triggering in and drag it, then it will remove that from the screen. Uh, you can do various other things. You can uh, make some other uh, basic settings changes on your DVR recorder. Now, we're going to look, one of these cameras is actually a PTZ camera. So this particular camera here, if we go full screen on this camera here, and we click the PTZ controller, uh, we've got some, uh, you can put a preset, so if we put preset 1 on there, that's now going to go back into position 1. So you can control the uh, PTZ camera using the uh, the joystick on here. Uh, you can zoom in and out and so on, or you can use the uh, preset uh, points just to make it slightly easier. One of the uh, things that you can find when you're controlling PTZ cameras remotely is you get a thing called latency, which means there's a delay between you inputting a uh, um, movement uh, input control and the camera actually moving. And that's where the uh, preset points become much easier because you know exactly where uh, you've already put them on. But you can uh, manually control the PTZ camera as well. So click on that to remove it. And as I say, you can go full screen uh, so you get the full uh, screen on there. And you can even, on the iPad, you can move it around and zoom in and so on uh, using the uh, pinch function on your uh, iPad. Double click on that and we'll go back to uh, the 9 camera display. So that's a brief overview with accessing your uh, DVR recorder using a mobile device, in this case an iPad. Um, as you can see, quite a nice function. Uh, in particular, the tablets, the iPads work uh, work very, very well with, with DVR recorders. So I hope you found that useful. My name's Henry. We're CCTV42. Many thanks for watching.